she was lying in the grass she could hear the highway breathing take a minute to concentrate and she opens up her eyes the world was moving she was right there with it and she was hi welcome back to another one chart lesson today we're doing a great old talking head song called and she was it's an interesting song that sort of seems to change keys a little bit and um has a very very catchy guitar riff which you just heard in there which is actually a bass riff but as per usual we're going to learn how to do this all on the one guitar so download your chart let's get started it's in the key of e at least to start and the riff is very very simple it's and after that e there are two accented drum beats. If you like, and for the longest time, I actually did an E chord there on those drum beats. So, so it sort of sounded like this. Don't have to do that. It's just something else to consider to fill it out. But you can also just do that, and that's what it sounds like on the record. So after that riff, that's what goes under the verses as well. So it's like, she was lying in the grass, but she could hear the highway breathing. Does that, does that through um, four times. Then we move into a sort of a key change pre-chorus where we go to A sharp or B flat, F, C, back to F, then A sharp again, or B flat, C, F. And the rhythm for that goes like this. Cool. Now, you'll see some of those strums land on the upstrum. The key to getting that sounding right is to do those upstrums where they land because they're on the upbeat or on the offbeat if you like. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one, two and three. So if you get those landing in the right spot, that little kind of funky rhythm with the upstrums sounds and feels much more natural. The second time through that little progression, we go Take a minute to concentrate Down to G And then C Now we move back into the key of E So that, that whole kind of pre-chorus section I think is in the key of F Of course you've got B flat, C and F Then we move back into the key of E for the chorus Which is E, A, D, A, again, with those upstrums in the right spot, that rhythm becomes much, much easier. So take it very slowly, try and copy this. Down, up, down, up, 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 down. Down, up, down, up, 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 down. Now you'll see those down strokes are always landing on the beat. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. That's the key. Getting those up strokes on the off beat, the down strokes on the beat, is the best way to make that sound natural, unforced, and it helps if you're singing as well with this. That's the key. Your right hand just keeps moving. Don't let it stop. Just keep moving back and forth miss the strings if you're not strumming them but keep that right hand moving that'll keep you in time and make sure your hand is in the right position down below the strings or up above the strings for the next strum i hope that makes sense it's meant to be very uh very intuitive and very commonsensical if that's if that makes sense to you but with that right hand moving on the beats up on the off beats down on the beats that strumming pattern and every other strumming pattern that you come across suddenly becomes a little bit more natural feeling 
and easier to incorporate with your singing as well. And even if you're not singing, that is, that is the best way to play it. So after the, after the, um, the chorus, we go back into the riff. And it does another verse. So you'll see on your chart, at the end of that chorus, it hits a DS, sends you back to the, the senyo at the start of the chart. You go back through the intro, back through another verse, back down through the pre-chorus, then the chorus. Then we head into the bridge. Now the bridge changes into a B minor. She was um, proud about it, no doubt about it. And then to G. Now, there's a little bass run that gets you from the B minor down to the G, which sounds really nice. So you can actually incorporate that into your playing and I'll put that on your chart as well. You go B minor, and lift off to the open A string, come back to the, to the B minor. So B, A, B. I slide up into that riff, which I think sounds good, but it's not actually what they do. So if I accidentally do that, like I just, just did then, forgive me. If you like the sound of it, copy me. So that's your middle section. She was proud about it. again. Then we head into the final verse, which again is played the same way, and then into your pre-chorus, but now they're just going. Just singing hey hey's over the top of it. And then we go in with another chorus, and it just kind of choruses out to the end of the song. After about six times through that chorus at the end, you'll hear this guitar riff come in over the top, which I've always liked and just sounds kind of, you know, sounds good. Sounds, I associate it with the song. It's what I hear with the song. And that's often what I do with, with these charts as well. I, if I hear something in that song that may not necessarily be played by the guitar, but it sticks in your ear and you identify it as part of the song, I try and get that onto the guitar as well when it's possible. In this case, it is possible, because the riff is this. And it just so happens that the chorus is going over E, A and D, which lets you use these open E, A and D strings to kind of fill out that, that, uh, that riff. So you, get, you start on the E string and you play a D shaped chord up on the fourth fret. So four, five, five, and do this. When you add your pinky to the fifth fret of the E string is when you move over with your thumb onto the A string. So you go E, 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 A, or E, A. Then you move up to the ninth fret with that same shape. Start with the pinky on and play the open D string with your thumb. Do that twice and then lift that pinky off and then move over to the A string. So it sounds like this. Again, only if you want to play that, if you want to put that in at the end of the song. The hardest part is muting the other strings so you're only hearing the bass notes that you want to hear there. But it's a nice exercise and it, it, it's you know an interesting thing to try and play cleanly and, and articulately. So that's it. That's the end of the song. Thank you very much for watching. It's a great old 80s song. I remember it from high school days, if that doesn't um, date me too badly. But it's fun to play. It's fun to play on your own with a nice clean guitar sound, acoustic, 
steel string, nylon, electric, clean, whatever, it all sounds good. Let me know if you've got any issues or problems or comments, questions, please like and subscribe. Thank you for uh, all the love you give the channel. It really helps me uh, you know, keep going. It gives me an idea of what you like to see on the channel here. And, um, and I'll try and keep it up for as long as I can. Thanks again. Thank you.